number one. Top 1967 Dodge Charger for sale for under $30,000 in 2021 is, Gateway Classic Cars of Fort Lauderdale is proud to present this beautiful 1967 Dodge Charger. Powered by a rebuilt 383 cubic inches V8 engine mated to a rebuilt 3-speed automatic transmission. Making cruising in this 1967 Dodge Charger fun and easy. With only 6,684 miles on the rebuilt, this 1967 Dodge Charger is road ready and will turn heads along the way. The gold exterior is in excellent condition and perfectly complemented by the super clean tan vinyl interior. With new tires and a new fuse panel and all fluids and recent oil change. This 1967 Dodge Charger would certainly make a great addition to any collection or a super cool daily driver. Do not miss your chance to own this awesome classic. Options include, AM radio, hubcaps, power steering, power brakes, vinyl interior, radial tires, and raised white letters. It can be seen in greater detail including 100 plus HD pictures and a HD video at www.gatewayclassiccars.com. For additional information please call our sales staff at 954-227. 4202. Or email us. If you would like to see it in person come to our Fort Lauderdale showroom located at, 4020 Northwest 126th Avenue Suite 108 Coral Springs Florida 33065. Price, $29,000 Number 2. Gateway Classic Cars of Detroit is proud to present this 1967 Dodge Charger for sale. Commonly referred to as the B-Body, which is a mid-sized automobile produced by Dodge from 1966 to 1978 and was based on the Chrysler B platform. The Dodge Charger was introduced during the 1966 model year. It featured a two-door fastback body design and a four-bucket seat interior. The intermediate-sized Charger shared components with the Coronet that also used the Chrysler B platform. The 1967 model year Charger received minor changes. Outside, new fender-mounted turn signals were introduced, and this would serve as the main external identifier between a 1966 and 1967 Charger. Inside, the full-length console was eliminated to satisfy customer complaints about the difficulty for entry and exit from the back seats. It was replaced with a regular-sized console. Bucket seats were standard but a folding armrest slash seat and column shifter was an option allowing three people to sit up front. This first generation charger is powered by a 318 cubic inch displacement V8, paired seamlessly to its three-speed automatic transmission. The exterior of this fastback charger is in a nice wide gloss, complemented by the blue vinyl interior. This 1967 Dodge Charger has been kept and maintained just right with a slight upgrade of air shocks on the rear. Options on this 1967 Dodge Charger include, AM FM radio, CD player, power steering, drum brakes, seat belts, and spare tire. This 1967 Dodge Charger is for sale in our Detroit showroom and can be seen in greater detail including 100 plus HD pictures and a full H. The video at www.gatewayclassicars.com Number 3, 1967 Dodge Charger 2-Door Coupe, Unrestored Hurst 4-Speed Charger with Buddy Seat, Pennsylvania Car, Garaged since January 1997 by me, 1978 with previous owner, Purchased with 63,253 on odometer, listed on title, Current miles are 66,073. Driven locally only, but all repairs performed by licensed mechanic repair shop. Runs great. Several extra headlight motors and headlight housings. Several extra taillight housings. Taillights are original and work well, see pictures. Many NOS and spare parts. Legendary front seats, back are still original. Back seats fold up and down like me have full carpet kit. Front and rear seating area has been replaced. All other pieces have been stored and lidded up. Gas tank has been replaced along with filler tubing connecting grommet. New NOS rear window and box. New NOS charger pillar name plates. Windshield trim. Hood trim. 
manual steering and brakes. Drums and brake cylinders replaced when purchased, 2,820 miles ago. New aluminum 22 inches radiator and high capacity water pump have eliminated running hot on hot summer days. I still have original factory 22 inches matching number radiator, headlights have been converted to LED, and they are great. Have backup starter and backup electroluminescent module. 1967 Dodge Dart, Coronet, Charger Service Manual and 1967 Chrysler Passenger Car Parts Catalog. I was going to back the charger out of the garage to get a thorough list of stuff I've accumulated from Chrysler's at Carlisle for 23 years, but the old interstate was dead. Darn these northeast winters. Looks like I'm adding a new interstate MTP24 battery to my list. Price, $29,500 negotiable. Number 4. 1967 Dodge Charger, 383-4 V8, Factory AC. Power steering, power brakes, radio, aftermarket polished wheels, we have the stock wheels and caps, rust-free body, floors, and mounts. 64,000 miles, excellent white finish with red bucket seat interior, nice full-length console and rear armrest, the interior is excellent with nice headliner and dash. Engine runs nice, never been detailed or messed with. These models with factory air are hard to come by, and with all that glass it's a nice option. The dash was signed by Big Daddy when the vehicle was owned in Florida. I am selling for a friend, the vehicle is located in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, shown by appointment. I can put you and the owner in direct contact as needed. For sale $26,500. See contact information in the description of this video. Number 5. For sale, 1967 Dodge Charger 440-727. slash $16,495. Exterior color, red. Transmission, automatic. Odometer, 50,000. Stock number 278647. Van, AMS 22836. Sold by Classic Car Deals. 6576 East 34 Road Cadillac Michigan 49601 Talk to one of our reps at 2314682809 extension 1 57 model year charger received minor changes. Outside, new fender mounted turn signals were introduced and this would serve as the main external identifier between a 1966 and 1967 charger. A vinyl roof became available. Inside, the full length console was eliminated to satisfy customer complaints about the difficulty for entry and exit from the back seats. It was replaced with a regular sized console. Bucket seats were standard, but a folding armrest, seat and column shifter was an option allowing three people to sit up front. The 440 Magnum was added and the 361 cubic inches 5.9 liters V8 was replaced by a 383 cubic inches 6.3 liters engine. The 440 was rated at 375 brake horsepower, 280 kilowatts with a single four-barrel carburetor. The 318 two-barrel LA Chrysler LA engine was now the base engine with wedge-shaped combustion chambers, unlike the previous 1966 polyspherical, or poly, design, it was rated at 230 brake horsepower, 170 kilowatts. 
the 383 four barrel rated at 325 brake horsepower, 242 kilowatts, and the 426 Street Hemi rated at 425 brake horsepower, 317 kilowatts, remained as options. A mere 118 chargers were built with the 426 engines in 1967, 58 cars were built with a 4-speed transmission and 59 cars were built with the automatic transmission. The RT package was also introduced in 1967. Sales of the 1967 chargers dropped to half of the previous introductory half-year with a total of 15,788 units. According to automotive historian Patrick Foster, both the AMC Marlin and a very similar looking first generation Dodge Charger flopped on the market as sporty car buyers were showing their preference for compact pony cars. Now here's our top 5 1967 Dodge Chargers for sale for under $30,000 in 2021. So, if you could choose to own one of these 1967 Dodge Chargers, which would it be and why? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Now you stuck with us till the end, here's your bonus. We have a short clip of a 1967 Dodge Charger from Gateway Classic Cars of Fort Lauderdale No. 1170. Scatus Rad Racers. We always value your support. Please show us your appreciation with a thumbs up. And of course don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 1967 Dodge Chargers for sale for under $30,000 in 2021, and make sure to watch until number 1, because you will not believe the number 1, 1967 Dodge Charger for sale under $30,000 in 2021 on this list, and how nice this car is. During the early 1960s, automakers were exploring new ideas in the personal luxury and specialty car segments. Chrysler, fast to enter the specialty car market, selected their Dodge Division to enter the marketplace with a mid-size B-bodied sporty car to fit between the pony car Ford Mustang and personal luxury Ford Thunderbird. The intention was to create a fastback look while sharing as much existing company hardware as possible. The year was 1967. Aretha Franklin releasing Respect, 1967 was a pretty great year. Cost a first class stamp, 5 cents. Gas per gallon, 33 cents. Movie ticket, $1.25. Federal minimum wage, $1.40 an hour. Medium household income, $7,143. Lyndon B. Johnson is president and Time Magazine's Man of the Year. Congress creates PBS. According to the Article No. 8 of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, 
you can be arrested for a C crime committed anywhere in the known universe. Super Bowl 1, Green Bay Packers beat Kansas City Chiefs, 35-10 in LA. Super Bowl MVP, Bart Starr, Green Bay, quarterback. Cost of Super Bowl ad in 1967, $42,000. Doritos first sold nationally as a basic corn tortilla chip in 1967. Nacho cheese wasn't sold until 1972, and much later Cool Ranch in 1986. The first handheld calculator invented. Rolling Stone began publication. The first issue sold about 5,000 copies. Most popular TV show was The Andy Griffith Show. Popular movies, The Graduate, Bonnie, and Clyde, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, In the Heat of the Night, Cool Hand Loop. Aretha Franklin releases Respect. Walt Disney's 19th full-length animated feature The Jungle Book, the last animated film personally supervised by Disney, is released and becomes an enormous box office and critical success. The 1960s 